Hello, Virgo. How are you? Hope you're doing well, Virgo. If you're a returning soul, welcome back. And if not, welcome to my channel. Why is this spirit moon? Okay, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, as usual, my readings are general and they're timeless, okay? So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Leave the rest for someone else. They're timeless because I believe that the messages I deliver have to be found for by someone when they need to see them. Okay. Very good. If you like how I read and you'd like to book a personal reading, or if you'd like to do a kind donation and uh, support my channel and what I do, all of the info is in the description box down below. Okay. There's no other way. So beware of scammers sending you messages or anything like that. And uh, please do click the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. All that helps my channel grow too, okay? All right, Virgo, let's see what we have for you. So just for Virgo, please. Okay, Virgo, the heart of the matter what this reading is about. Knight of Swords. Fast movement with a lot of clarity. We'll see. Let's lay it all down first. Crossing you. Crossing you is usually a challenge or something that's benefiting you. King of Swords. Crowning you. Or in your conscious mind or what you do see clearly it's the page of pentacles what's below you or in your subconscious mind the five of wands i've got a little bit of internal conflict there you're not seeing things clearly Behind you, recent past, oh. eight of wands. In front of you, near future, or what's headed your way, or you're headed to, ace of swords. Full clarity of the truth. A lot of mental energy here, Virgo. A lot of mental energy. Well, there's a lot of clarity coming in for you. Something happened in your past. It was quick. The way you see yourself. Or how you feel. How you're taking action in this energy. It's the Ten of Swords. You see yourself like this, but you're taking action and pulling those swords from your back now. You've been seriously backstabbed. But you're, you're gaining the strength now. You have the clarity to do so. It's good, Virgo. The energy around you are what's influencing you. Beautiful. The wheel of fortune. So things are turning in your favor, okay? I think uh, yeah, you're being supported here, that's for sure. I get some type of a massive awakening. 
were just a big reality kicking in the ass <laughs> energy here. <laughs> Hopes and fears. Nine of Pentacles. It's not a fear. That's just, you want to get there. You want to be that. Yes. Good. Very good. Outcome or advice? It's the world. And that's both messages. It's both an outcome and an advice at once. Put them off the deck. Two of ones. Have the world in your hands. You have a world in your hands. You have a wider vision, expansion. You can see further out there. Why? Because you're gaining that clarity. Okay? The world is my oyster. Nice. All right, Virgo. Right off the bat, okay? You're coming out of this energy, something happened quick for you, okay? Could have been message, messages, information, knowledge, uh, something, okay? Take it as it resonates, okay? This could be in a relationship, in a job environment, whatever, okay? I just read the energy. You fit it in your current personal path. Okay, but this came to you. I have the sense that <clears throat> excuse me. That was my throat clearing my throat there. So this is probably very clear communication that came into you. That's what I'm, I'm seeing right here. That's the Knight of Swords, quick, quick truth, quick clarity, quick action. Okay. Very focused energy. And I don't think anything's Nothing's stopping you now. This is you, I can feel it. This is the energy inside of you. You, you made a decision, a very clear decision. Okay? What's crossing you, and it's not challenging you, it's, it's actually, you are taking this action. And if not, if you're not in this energy yet, that Knight of Swords, you have to you have to cut things out. And maybe even abruptly. Okay. The King of Swords is that divine feminine, that I mean masculine. He's not like the divine feminine, the queen of swords. She can be a little more, not for, uh, it's not forgiving, but she'll cut you out with love. <laughs> the king of swords, he'll just do it abruptly without an explanation, without a word, okay? Be even, violently sometimes now it doesn't matter what gender you are okay gender is not specific in the tarot you can be male or female but that's the energy that you will or you should be embodying it's quick decisive cutting enough of this shit boom okay that's where you're headed to this energy it's a very clear mind now pure clarity and you're learning to be loyal true and loyal to yourself because the 
the sword of truth is the only sword that's going to set you free. So you're setting yourself free. From what? From the mental conflict. That's very deep inside of you. Okay? So I don't know what happened in your past, but this fast information that came in was very fiery. Very far, yes. It's what made this switch in, in, in within you. And from now on, you're learning that that's the clarity now. That, that you got to be true and loyal to yourself and to everything around you. Okay? What you do see clearly, what's crowning you, is that page of pentacles. It's You know you have to start fresh again. Okay, I never take pages as people. Only knights, queens, and kings. Pages I usually take it more as a spark of energy. Okay, this is a thought in you. It's like, okay, well, I only have this left. Now I have to start again. That's good. Because you have to. This was all divine work right here for you. Just for you. Okay? This is how you see yourself betrayed. But this is how you're taking action also. You gotta pull those swords out of your back. You've been seriously betrayed and seriously hurt. Okay? Take out each one of those swords one by one. You're going to analyze them, study exactly what each one is made out of, and then you're going to see yourself and you're just going to study and analyze the damage that each one of them made to you. That's how you're going to heal. That's knowledge. You're going to gain knowledge or you're gaining knowledge with this healing. That's why. That's why we also have these of sorts. Okay? You're headed that way. The energy around you, or what's influencing you, is the wheel of fortune. These are big changes in your life. Things are turning in your favor because you're doing the work within yourself. And this is major arcana. This is from the divine. The divine is, is, is working with you through this. Okay? It's time to make a change. I think you got a wake up call. So something happened in the past that was boom. Could have been a, a swift kick in the ass. Okay, Virgo. Virgo, your hopes and fears is to become this. This is someone who is abundant, not only materially, okay? Not only money-wise, in many aspects, even with, within yourself, this is a more divine feminine energy. I just got another message, but I'll, I'll, get, there and I'll get to that in a minute, okay? But you want to become that divine feminine. Doesn't matter if you're a male, okay? I'm a, I'm a straight male, married to a wonderful, wonderful woman, Capricorn. But I vibe at a very divine feminine, okay? If you've seen the thumbnails of my videos, those, that's all my own photography. It's very, very feminine artwork. I connect more to nature. You want to learn to listen more to your intuition. I can see that for some of you. Okay. But in your head mind, head space, I mean, 
What's crowning you is this energy. And you want to get from there to there. From this to that. From having one pentacle to having many pentacles. From feeling this way to feeling that way. Okay? You will, if you put the work in yourself and you do that proper healing. Okay? Now, the message, the other message that I got. Be careful not to get stuck in that energy. Okay? Sometimes we have to jump from one divine energy to another. Okay? Um, if you have to do something aggressively, in, aggressively in a way, not, not in a bad way, it's like it's just like a quick aggressive action, you know, to put an end to something, do it, and then do the healing, okay? Because then... When this wheel starts turning for you, you're going to start turning into a more divine feminine energy. I think some of you might be tired of, maybe you could have some anger issues or, and you're aware of it, you know, because of all of this, maybe. And maybe you're trying to work on that. And I think that's good. Very good. Okay, so I think that there's a lot of inner work here with how you're taking action and from now on on things. It's that mental conflict, you have to release that. Okay, but uh, if you do have anger management issues or, or very strong mood swings, uh, it's because you have to heal them. It's you've been very badly hurt and, and that's the result of something like that. Okay, but remember, the will is starting in your favor. Okay, so there's divine work going on behind the scenes for you, helping you through this. Okay, and to get there where you want to be more balanced, more loving. And you want to be seen also that way. It's like you don't want to be seen like that anymore, okay? That's for some of you. You don't want to be seen with carrying the, that energy with you, that conflict, that aggressiveness, anger, okay? In a way, that kind of resonates more for me. But take it as, 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 it's, as it fits your situation more. The outcome and advice is the world card. That's ending a cycle. It's leaving everything behind to start a new, a new lifestyle, a new path, a brand new, fresh cycle. Okay. So whatever happened here, it's a big fresh reset button that has been pressed for you, okay? And as advice is just let it, let it happen, okay? Let the cycle close. But you are moving on very, very nicely. There's a big change inside of you. And it's for the better. This is going to make you see things now clearer. You, it will help you and it will support you to expand more within yourself and whatever else you do from now on. More mental clarity, better vision. Okay, you have to put the hard work first, okay? Good Virgo, very, very nice, nice work. Just heal, okay? And uh, 
for some of you, yeah, I do get that mess that other message. It's uh, try to leave the the aggressiveness behind. That might be for others of you, but uh, but but for the other part of you, is you have to you have to take action and cut immediately whatever this is it could be that way of being or someone who betrayed you badly okay all right virgo virgo i'm gonna leave it there it's beautiful reading you're it's a new cycle it's 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 Definitely, definitely an awakening. Okay? So just heal and let the magic happen. Let things happen. Let the cycle close. And just remember, okay? That's the... You know you have to start fresh, okay? It's something new. You might see yourself with not much, but you'll get there. That's what you want and you're gonna get it because you're doing the right work within yourself. All right, Virgo, all right. Okay, Virgo, I hope this reading helps you. Okay, and I wish you all the best in this, in this new, new cycle in your life, okay? All right, Virgo. Virgo, hope to see you next time. And as usual, stay safe, stay happy, stay happy, okay? And stay very blessed. Goodbye, Virgo.